help me put your hands together for the organizers of this event. Can you help me clap for yourself? Okay, that, that is louder and it seems like it's because it's for yourself. But some people will still not clapping for themselves. Can you clap for yourself? So now I know you can clap. We're just pretending that you can't clap. Thank you for having me. My name is Sunday. I'm a WordPress professional. I focus on e-commerce and when someone in the WordPress community tells you they focus on e-commerce, uh, chances are they are a WooCommerce professional. I work with Automatic. Automatic is the owner of WooCommerce, Jetpack, WordPress.com and a host of other uh, softwares and plugins in the WordPress ecosystem. Briefly, I will be sharing with you on building a global career with WordPress or building a global career through WordPress, depending on how you like to title that. And my objective is simple. Uh, my objective is simple is basically to show you. Okay. I think someone is going to have to help me control the slide from there because this isn't working. Okay, great. My, my objective is to give you an insight into the WordPress ecosystem and show you how to liberate the diverse opportunities in WordPress to build a global career. And if you're wondering why a global career, I, I believe David has said that and he said you deserve to be at the top. I would like to add that you deserve to be at the global stage. Can you have me turn to someone by your side and say you deserve to be at the global stage? Thank you. Alright, just basically to help you understand what I mean by a global career, because I know some of you already are curious, you're wondering what does it mean to uh, build a global career? What does a global career really mean? When I talk about a global career, I'm simply referring to a career that is cross-border. That basically means you're not limited to any geographical location. A career that does not limit you uh, to embedded, and that could work in different ways. One of the ways that could work uh, could be that you could be in embedded, and then you're working with companies across the globe. That's one. Two, you could decide to relocate from embedded to anywhere in the world you can think of. That could be the United Kingdom, the United States, or whatever country you've been dreaming of living. So building a global career basically allows you to work from any location. Two, when I talk about global career, I'm, I'm talking about global relevance, which is uh, two words that my friend and uh, my friends and I we often uh, play with. And when we talk about global relevance, uh, we basically mean building skill set and experiences, you know, that are relevant on the global stage. Meaning, the skill set you're building, the experiences you're building, are not just relevant in Nigeria. It means you can relocate to anywhere in the world and the skill sets, the experiences you build over the years, you know, are useful, allowing you, you know, to transition to anywhere, to move to anywhere in the world, and the skill set, the experiences you build over the years are still useful. So one with global relevance, your skill set and experiences, you know, are useful, are applicable anywhere in the world. Two, that you yourself as a person, because you build relevant relevant skill set relevant experiences, you become relevant wherever you find yourself. And I'll be showing you how you can do that using WordPress. How you can build skill sets, how you can build experiences that are relevant anywhere using uh, WordPress. Okay, um, having a, a bit of challenge with this, I'm just going to let someone there control this for me. Alright, so how do you build a global career? One of the first things you need to know uh, is that building a global career requires integrating uh, yourself into a global ecosystem and community. So if you're looking to build a global career, you, are, you have to integrate yourself into a global ecosystem, into a global community. You can be looking to build a global career and your focus you know, is on the ecosystem here. Uh, your focus is, you know, is working with WCEU. Uh, except you're going to have to find where you, know, you can build skills here that you can transition. So building a global career, uh, to do that you have to 
uh, integrate yourself into the global ecosystem, into a global community like WordPress, which uh, you agree with me is a global ecosystem, is a global community. Because if you go to anywhere in the world, you're going to find that there are people using WordPress. When you go to anywhere in the world, you're going to find that there are companies, there are businesses built around WordPress and they're employing uh, people. All right. When Maria was uh, sharing, she said uh, that we use stories to build trust. Uh, one of the things I would like to do, one of the things I would like to do is to build trust with you by sharing my own story. And this is my WordPress story. So, like every one of you, uh, at some point I did not know about WordPress. It was sometime uh, in 2018 that I decided that I want to name. Uh, WordPress, but it because I wanted to pursue a career in website design. So I went on the internet and I searched for how to build websites and there were tons of options. Uh, back then, Adobe Dreamweaver was uh, the industry standard, so there was Adobe Dreamweaver and I also got to learn about content management system. Uh, WordPress was there as an option, Joomla was an option, Drupal was an option. And I found it difficult back then to choose between WordPress and Joomla because Joomla was also a very popular content management system. But I choose with, I choose WordPress, you know, after getting to learn about the WordPress community, knowing that there were active people who would support me if, if I run into issues. And choosing WordPress has been the best uh, decision of my life. I've been using WordPress since learning in 2013. But in December 2018, I also started helping out in the WordPress forum because the way WordPress works is that a community like this exists to help people learn. And one of the ways it works is that some people contribute and you know other people get help. So after getting help myself, I also started giving help. And uh, in 2014, that's a year after I began building websites for profit using WordPress. Back then, I was a young man who was just starting out, and I found out that you know literally everything I needed. I depended on family. I depended on friends. But I began building websites with WordPress, and at some point, I became independent after building websites with WordPress for about three years. So what basically changed my life, it changed my financial status. And what I did was that in 2017, when I realized that WordPress changed my life, I looked around me and there were other young people uh, who were struggling. And I thought that if I could teach them what I you know, had learned through WordPress, that, that would also change uh, their lives. And I started uh, hosting WordPress meetups. I used to run a company called uh, Express Technologies. So what I did was to turn my reception into a training hall and I started hosting WordPress meetups and um, in 2018 someone from the WordPress community who saw my meetup reached out and told me that there are official WordPress meetups just like we have the Intel WordPress meetup, the Ginger WordPress meetup. I didn't know about the meetups, I just basically started my own meetup out of passion to teach people WordPress. So someone reached out, there's the official WordPress meetup, uh, would you like your community to join and I responded yes and uh, my community then we go, became an official WordPress chapter, which is how they call the official WordPress meetup. So I became the, I became the organizer of the new WordPress meetup. Uh, in 2019, I relocated to Lagos, Nigeria, which is Nigeria uh, Economic Hub. And uh, by then, I discovered that hosting WordPress meetups, hosting WordPress events, uh, could help us on the African continent change our community. Because one of the problems we have you know, is that of poverty, is that of crime, and I realized that one way to solve that problem was through digital skills, like people learning about WordPress. So I started uh, a couple of WordPress meetups. I started the Elemental Nigeria community, which I ran, and I started the WooCommerce Lagos uh, meetup. I started teaching people how to build online stores uh, with WooCommerce, and I grew both communities to uh, thousands of active uh, members. Due to my work with the uh, WooCommerce community, with the WooCommerce Lagos meetup, sometime in uh, 2020, uh, WooCommerce was looking for a regional mentor in Africa, basically to oversee the meetup programs, the community leaders. And because I had experience as a meetup organizer, you know, I signed up as a regional mentor for the WooCommerce community in Africa. I'm sharing my story basically to let you know that everything is gradual, that no one starts with knowing it all. It's a journey. We all start, you know, without knowing anything. But without, at the point, I didn't know about WordPress, but I just had to learn and then grow. So, to wrap it up, in 2020, 
uh, automatic was advertising the role of uh, the happiness engineer, and I, I read about it, and it's a support role, and I realized that what I've been doing in the community over the years is what happiness engineers do. So what do we do as happiness engineers? We provide support for people building websites, building online stores, they get stuck, and we help them. And if you realize, uh, maybe if you see someone like Otto, uh, who, are, who has been hosting the interview, what you find out that if you run into issues, if you have any problem with your website, you are going to reach out to him. Is that correct? Yes. So I realized I was already doing what happiness engineers do, and then I applied. And because I had seen my experience with uh, WordPress and with WooCommerce over the years, I got employed and you know I started working with Automatic. And as you know, Automatic is a global company, it's a distributed company, which also means uh, being a distributed company means you can work from anywhere in the world. And since joining Automatic, I get to, to work from literally anywhere in the world. Before I came to Entebbe, I think about a few years ago, I was working from Nairobi, and from Nairobi, I moved down here. And originally I'm a Nigerian, but now, you know, I'm actually on the global stage, and my how you can leverage WordPress to achieve what I've done uh, over the years. All right, so if we move to the next slide, you're going to see the photo of, uh, this is our, the first meetup, the new WordPress meetup, and we move to the next one, you're going to see the one for, uh, this is the Elemento uh, Nigeria meetup, and the next one is that of the WooCommerce meetup, and if we move to the next slide, the next slide talks about why I'm interested in, one, in WordPress, and Okay, to quickly run to where I'm interested in WordPress, three reasons. Uh, my passion in WordPress is driven by one. WordPress is one of the easiest way to build a tech career. So when I wanted to get into the web design world, options were coding and tons of other ones which took time. But I realized the content management system like WordPress, which makes uh, it very easy to build a website. So you are going to find out, like Serena said, uh, she was you know, maybe you should be adding content and before you know you're learning about search engine optimization, you're doing different things. So from, uh, you start out maybe just learning how to build a blog. And before you know you're doing search engine optimization, you're running ads to uh, your site. So WordPress is one of the easiest ways to build a tech career. And WordPress gives me an opportunity to empower my community, which I do through the meetup programs which I host. Basically just sharing my experience and getting other people to learn. Uh, WordPress uh, is perhaps the easiest way to build a global career. Basically, because WordPress is a global tool, and when you align yourself with a global tool, with a global technology, you have experience with it. That experience is relevant anywhere in the world. All right. So you are going to find out that in every community there are people who don't like WordPress, and I've grouped them into two categories of people. Uh, I like to say that some people don't like WordPress see it as a threat. I've seen people even in the Nigerian uh, community. Uh, for the people who, when they learn to build websites, they learn to do it using code, and they have to write code for one week to two weeks to have a full functional website. And you now, you can just wake up and do it in a day or two days with WordPress. So you find out they don't like WordPress because they feel it makes things too easy and makes them irrelevant. Others are people who don't just understand how WordPress works and the opportunities within the WordPress ecosystem. And because they don't understand how WordPress works, uh, they criticize it. I'm saying that uh, because for you know you to build a global career with WordPress, you have to be you know open-minded. And being open-minded means uh, you don't see it as a threat, and you have to learn to understand how it works. So WordPress is the operating system of the web, and I usually say that because when you look at data, data shows that WordPress powers for three percent of all websites on the internet, from news site, business site to blog. WordPress alone powers about forty-three percent of all websites on the internet. So that's almost about half of the website on the internet. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, content management systems, WordPress is used by 65, about 65% 65 of all websites using the content management system. So it has 65% of the content management system uh, market. Uh, WordPress usage increases uh, on an average of 12% per year. So you are sure that if learning is something that is going to you know, be relevant continuously. And uh, WooCommerce, which is just a WordPress plugin for e-commerce. WooCommerce, uh, you know, has a market share of about 3% uh, among e-commerce platforms worldwide. All right, so I'm going to quickly 
run through my slide because of time. So you can see this data shows the CMS market share, and you can see that all this green part belongs to WordPress. And you can see some popular uh, project management system that you know, or that you may know, and you can see the little percentage they have, uh, and some of them, I'm sure they look like they're very popular to you, but just look at the market share. Okay, this is the e-commerce, uh, with the statistics, and you can see the percentage more comments text. Some people talk down on WordPress and they say WordPress is just for beginners, uh, you know, people don't know a lot of things and all that. But look at, you can see some of the world's biggest brands using WordPress. So, Fortune 500 companies are using WordPress. And you can see some of them did that. Uh, I'm not going to go over them because of time. And I'd like to say that when in doubt of what, of what's achievable with WordPress, the WordPress Showcase is a great source of inspiration. So if you go to WordPress.org for us by Showcase, you're going to see some of the sites that are uh, built with WordPress. And it will shock you to know that the US White House, that's the White House official website, is built with WordPress. So it tells you how powerful WordPress is as a content management system. Okay, keys to building a global career with WordPress. One, keep an open mind. Uh, don't criticize, don't see it as a threat. Keep an open mind and you find that you'll be able to build a global career with WordPress. Understand your skill set and passion. So we are not all called to be developers. Now, it's a general assumption that when people are that here, we assume that everybody is a developer or intends to be a developer. Most of us here are not going to be developers, so you have to find where you fit in. And the WordPress ecosystem, there are opportunities for all, for everyone. So you can be a developer, you can be a designer, there are tons of opportunities. In fact, even if you don't want to be in tech, you can see how uh, to use WordPress to do what you do. And we're going to run through that quickly. All right, so one of the ways to build a global career with WordPress is to identify where you can make an impact and how. Because the ecosystem is large, it's big, you have to identify where you can fit in. One, uh, one of the, when I say specialize, one of the, I found that People that aim more globally across the world are people who are specialists. So when you go to hospitals, you find out that you know specialist doctors are the ones that aim more. So by specializing, I simply mean finding an area you want you can work for that you can be a specialist in. Okay. So, building a global career with WordPress requires opening your mind to the unlimited opportunities in the WordPress ecosystem. Alright, so let me run you through the WordPress ecosystem to help you identify where you can make an impact, where you can fit in. So, this is what the WordPress ecosystem looks like. We have our managed hosting platforms uh, because WordPress is a web software, which means uh, you have to host it. So, that's why to build a website, you're going to need web hosting. So, we have managed hosting platform that, you know, a platform that have uh, a pre-installed uh, version of WordPress that once you go, you sign up, you don't have to manually install WordPress. WordPress is already installed. So there are tons of web hosting platforms uh, across the web and they're always hiring people for support and different roles. There are team shops and marketplaces. How many of us know a WordPress team shop? Anyone? Have you ever got, uh, gotten a plugin from a WordPress team shop? Does anyone know a WordPress team shop? Can you just shout one? Which one do you know? Forest. Yeah, there's Team Forest and you know Mojo Marketplace and a couple of them. Uh, in the WordPress ecosystem, they are plugin developers. So people say WordPress is just team and plugins. But they fail to think that people actually build these things and plugins. And the when you look at the ecosystem, you find out that tons of plugins are premium plugins and people are paying you know thousands of dollars for them and there are organizations and individuals that make billions selling WordPress plugins. Uh, there are WordPress developers and designers, so that's an opportunity if you are someone who is interested in development, writing codes, uh, you can you know build a career as a WordPress developer. If you're not interested in code, you can build a career as a designer. There are WordPress agencies and consultants, uh, you cannot just say to for WordPress agencies, WordPress consultants, I was, a, I was hoping to, you know, run us through some of them, but my time is limited, so I'm going to allow Google so that people that. There are WordPress educators, sites that, you know, they are not building sites for people, they are not building plugins, they are just educating people on WordPress. There's WP Beginner, which is very popular, WP Tools. There are tons of them, and these sites, you know, are making uh, millions in revenue by just writing and teaching people how to use 
work first. So if you are an educator and you are not looking to be a developer, that's also an opportunity for you. There are people like, like the four builders and creators, and these are people who just help people spin up uh, a WordPress website. So they don't code, uh, they are just people that understand how WordPress works, so they can pick a team, customize it, and then quickly create a website for you. There's also opportunities for bloggers, for marketers. So if your day-to-day -day job uh, basically involves writing news stories, maybe you work with uh, a newspaper, you work with a radio or TV and you write news stories, an opportunity to work for you could be as a blogger, which you are going to do what you've been doing over the years, but basically doing it uh, online. And if you are into marketing, you are helping people promote products and services, even in the WordPress world, marketers are needed to help, to help promote WordPress teams. So there are opportunities for everyone. All right, some opportunities for specialization because one of the things I advise people to do is to specialize. And the way it helps is that the ecosystem is big, is large. So you find out that there are millions of WordPress plugins and it's literally impossible to master all of them. So what you want to do if you're starting out is to find the ones you can master. Maybe depending on your unique use case, and these are some examples. Uh, page builders, an area to specialize can be page builders. And even before we talk about page builders in WordPress, page builders, uh, they give you a drag and drop interface that allow you to easily build websites. Elementor is one of them, WP Bakery uh, is one of them. At times it's impossible to be a master at all of them. But you can choose the one that works for you and become a master at that and then just know the basics of the other ones. How that will help to be, uh, how specialization helps is if you're trying to find work in the WordPress ecosystem or you're trying to be uh, a leader in the WordPress ecosystem, you're able to specialize, uh, master one of these, maybe like a page builder, like an elementor. People are going to see you as an elementor expert and you can, you know, quickly and easily, you know, end from that instead of trying to do everything. So there's opportunity in leads and marketing because people are always trying to get leads. So this is a nice thing you could build, help people build custom uh, landing pages and so on. Help people integrate features like, uh, you know, melting marketing, email marketing into their WordPress website. There are opportunities for automation. Uh, one of my favorite automation problems is automate Wolf. So you could have your store and immediately someone makes a purchase, your automation, like uh, reminding them to leave a review, sending them a coupon to make purchase after a period of time. Uh, there are forms, now people want to build dynamic forms. Forms that if someone selects these, uh, forms with conditional logic, that if someone selects A, give them B, and so on. So they are different from just regular forms that people build. Some people want payment forms, and so on. There's also opportunity in e-commerce, and if you if you have noticed, e-commerce is mostly on the rise in Africa. Already, you've seen that uh, uh, we can see trends like uh, companies like Stripe coming in to you know invest in the e-commerce sector in Africa. For instance, uh, Stripe purchased uh, Paystack, which is one of Africa's uh, top payment gateway, and you can see that organizations like Mastercard, like Visa, are also investing in companies uh, like Flutterweb. So everyone. Uh, you know, in the global scene, you can see that e-commerce is on the rise in Africa. So you can also position yourself uh, in the e-commerce industry using WordPress. And for that, one of the problems you want to master is WooCommerce. And with WooCommerce, you can build online stores for people. Uh, you can even work with organizations that use uh, WooCommerce. So the opportunities in subscriptions and memberships, uh, multilingual and translation, performance and security, uh, and for that, you want to familiarize, uh, familiarize yourself with plugins like Jetpack, which helps you secure your, uh, your website and helps make your website faster. The set engine optimizations, which you want to master plugins like Yoast SEO, like Runmark, and the opportunities in conversion and, and analytics, education, uh, and learning management system, which are basically people who want to have websites uh, where people can sign up for a course. So what you could do is just master how to create those type of websites where uh, I want to sell my course online, uh, how can I get it done, and then I come to you, you charge me, and then you buy a master at that. The opportunities in WordPress maintenance and management, 
people need people to help them manage their WordPress websites, people to help them or get plugins. Uh, safely because you could do an update and it breaks your entire website. So people need people who are skilled in WordPress maintenance, updating plugins, updating teams, uh, you know, managing the general uh, website performance and so on. All right. So there's there's also opportunity in the WordPress community. The WordPress community is one place you can view experience, you can gain experience because literally every job in the world they will ask how many years experience do you have. WordPress community allows you to contribute and also build experience in the process. So for instance, uh, I'm in the WordPress documentation team. And the WordPress documentation team writes the entire documentation on how to use WordPress. So being in the WordPress documentation team, which I've been for a couple of years, when I apply for jobs, I put up that experience that I'm a WordPress documentation contributor. I've been doing this for this number of years. And when they go to my WordPress profile, they can see uh, documentation team member because it's actually how they and with that they know oh, I've been involved with documentation writing for this number of years. So with that I have experience that I can advertise on the global stage. So you can go to make.wordpress.org and you can find the different uh, WordPress themes you can contribute to. There are tons of them and when you go to make.wordpress.org you're going to get more information regarding how these themes work. So you just have to find the one that aligns with your career goal. So if you're someone who is interested in coding, call uh, the people who build uh, the WordPress software. Design is the people who build the UI. You know, someone said that it all starts with a design. So they build the user interface for the WordPress software. What it goes through the translation. WordPress is translated into tons of languages. So with them, you could join and you could help translate WordPress into uh, Uganda or one of your local languages. There's the documentation team, there's support that help people in the forums. So when people come and ask questions, how do I do this? People in support help them. And if you do that for a while and you want to apply for a support role, maybe like a happiness engineer, you can list that. It's one of the things I even listed as my experience. And when they know, oh, you've been helping people with WordPress for this number of years, it makes it easy for you to get in. There are teams, people who review teams that are submitted and approve it. There are plugins, there's community. Uh, which uh, author and myself are part of. Community are the people who host like the word camps, who host like the meetups. So if you're interested in starting maybe like a WordPress meetup in your city, where like author basically to contribute to making sure that events like this word camps or like that, like the you know the monthly meetups that they hold, you want to be in the community team, and that can also count and as an experience for you. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to wrap it up. Uh, then, and I would like to say again that you deserve to be at the top, you deserve to be at the global stage, and you can achieve that using WordPress. You just have to be open-minded, you just have to be willing to learn. And once you do, you find that uh, your only limitation will be yourself. Because with WordPress, uh, as a content management system, as an open source software, there's really no limitation. And you find out that or uh, when you think of something that like someone said, uh, maybe you're thinking of how to achieve a certain functionality, you find that there's already a plugin for that. Thank you.